Hello there and welcome to RC Model Reviews. I'm Bruce Simpson, I'm your review guy, and this week, another not so weekly weekly news in which I talk about lots of things which really don't warrant a video on their own. Now first of all, last time I spoke about the situation of shipping batteries from Hobby King and I mentioned that they have this 100 watt hour limitation on this, the amount of batteries you can ship in one consignment, which is a pain in the bum because you can't ship a 6-cell 5000 mAh LiPo, it's bigger than the maximum allowed. So when you go, you put it in your shopping trolley, you go to the checkout and you go to check it, uh, choose a shipping option that says, no you can't, sorry, you got to come pick it up. So it's a bit of a pain because I wanted some 6-cell 5000 mAh batteries for a couple of the projects here. We've got the Bruce Lee 90mm and we've got the Taft Hobby Viperjet. I want to fly those. Now I've got some 3-cell packs I've made up, but I wanted a 6-cell pack because they're slightly lighter and I just, you know, um, you'd want more than one battery per model. So I thought, hey, yeah, I'll get some 6-cell packs. Can't get them from Hobby King. Really, really disappointing. So I thought, well, I'll try shopping around. Now I went to High Model and went to the check, when I, when I went to buy them, somebody said, you can't buy them. You can't buy them because we can't ship them, which is good. That's, you know, they tell you right up front. I went to SDS Hobby and they said, yeah, we'll take your money. Come on, come on, pay up, pay up. So I paid up, went through the PayPal, ka-ching, ka -ching, And then I get an email a day later saying, oh, we're terribly sorry, but we can't ship your battery. Well, why did you let me place an order if you couldn't ship my battery? So then I had to go farting around trying to get my money back, took a week. So don't bother with SDS Hobby. I bought stuff off them in the past and they're okay, but you know, that left a sour taste in my mouth. I'm sorry, not impressed SDS Hobby. Not only with the fact that you took my money, uh, took, accepted my order when you couldn't ship, but also the fact you took so damn long to refund the money for my order when you wouldn't ship it. So, thumbs down to SDS Hobby. But there are a few suppliers that I've got to give a thumbs up to today. Now, the first of all, as I said, I wanted a six cell battery pack. So I went shopping around, went to those places, no good. And I came across Helipal, and they have the Gen's Ace batteries. And they're good batteries. I mean, I like Gen's Ace. Um, they're not as um, cheap as the Turnergy Nanotechs, which I'd have preferred to buy because I'm on a budget, but they had the Gen's Ace 5000 milliampere hour 45C six cell battery pack listed on their site. And I thought, well, I'll give it a go. So I put my order in. And as I went to the checkout, I thought any moment now, it's going to come and tell me, sorry, we can't ship this. But went through the checkout, took my money. I thought, okay, within a day, I'm going to get an email that says, we're really sorry, but we can't ship your product, you know. But shortly after that, I got a tracking number and I thought, ooh, now this is very interesting. It was a DHL tracking number. I thought, excellent. So I waited. Three days later, look what arrived. Ta-da, Gen's Ace. 45C, six, a 5,000 milliampere hour, six cell battery. Excellent, that's what I wanted. How come uh, Helipal could send this and nobody else can send them? Is it because Helipal are using DHL? Is it because Helipal basically put more than they should have in the box? I don't know, I've got no idea. All I know is I ordered it and it arrived in a pretty quick space of time. In fact, Helipal were quite good because I also ordered the UP02 updating tool for the Walkera QRX350 I'm reviewing. And in fact, I ordered the UP02 update tool um, the day before I ordered the battery. And I ordered it, paid for it, freight and all that sort of stuff. Then I went back and I ordered the battery. And I was expecting two separate orders, but I got an email from uh, Helipal saying, you've got two orders, would you like to combine them and save freight? And I said, woohoo, yeah. So I saved nine bucks. <laughs> That's the kind of service I like. They saved me some money instead of just sending out two separate packages. They saw I had two in the system. Hey, they'll both go together. Um, it's cheaper, give you the option. Excellent, love it. Now, of course, I had to pay a fair bit of money for a Gen's Ace battery. They're not cheap, as I say, they're not cheap, but I still saved a lot of money against buying it locally. If I bought this locally, you know, I wouldn't be eating dinner for three weeks, but I bought it from them, saved a bundle. So that's good. If you really, really need a big battery, you can buy them online. You just gotta be shopping around to see where you find them. Now, while on the subject of batteries, look at this, see if you can see this. <laughs> Yes, it's a puffy battery. It's a puffy, it's a Tenergy, um, the camera won't focus up close, but it's a Tenergy 180 milliampere hour two cell battery. I've used these a lot. They're really good, I love them. I use them in my little Radjet 400 and I use them in my DLGs. But I thought when I ordered the three cell packs from Hobby King, I thought, well, I'll just get a few of these for spares. And I did, and they were all puffed. And I'm really peed off. So perhaps they've got a bad batch, perhaps it's an old batch, I don't think they have a date code on them. I don't know what it is, but they were all puffed and useless, two volts a cell. Now, of course, you can go through the process, you just measure the voltage, send the pictures in, they give you a credit for the battery, but the reality is if I really wanted these batteries, I'd be totally paid off because, sure, I'll get my $2.85 or whatever they are credited to my account, 
but then I have to pay another $32 in FedEx shipping to get the batteries because FedEx is the option for LiPos. That's not going to work. That makes it incredibly expensive. So yeah, if you've ordered some of these little nanotechs and they're puffed, let me know. I want to know if it's a widespread problem or if it's just my bad luck again, getting all of them in a puffed state. And if you're thinking of buying these because you bought a DLG like the Hobby King 950, then think again, wait until you see if anyone's had other problems. It may be a batch that are completely stuffed. You don't want to waste your freight money buying batteries that are no good to you. So just a little heads up there. Um, what else? Oh, while well on the subject of giving people um, kudos and bouquets, R2 Hobbies. Now, remember I bought the Spectre DLG from R2 Hobbies and when it arrived, one of the wings was a dud. The aileron wouldn't go down, it would only go up. And I was a bit peeved about that. So I contacted R2 Hobbies, as you would, and I said, excuse me, but the DLG you sent me has got a bad wing. And I expected them to say, oh, well, if you ship it back, we'll have a look and you know, no. Nice gentleman called William said, no problem, sir, we'll send you a replacement wing. And I thought, woohoo. But then he said, but we don't have any in stock, so, and we don't know when they're coming back in. And I thought, oh yeah, sounds like being fobbed off. You know, oh yeah, we'll soon as we get them in stock, we'll send them to you, but we'll never get them back in stock, so we're right. But earlier this week, I got an email from William saying, your glider wing has arrived, and we're all ready to send it to you. Would you like to order anything else while, you know, while we're preparing? I thought, hey, that's actually good service. They're gonna send me that wing. They're gonna cover the freight themselves. That's, if that is good service, that's support and service. That's brilliant. And I thought, well, there was another DLG on there I was looking at too. And I thought, eh, okay. So I said, look, I'd like to buy that one as well. So I paid the money, bought that. They're gonna shove the replacement wing in that box. It should be here next week. I've got the tracking number. It's already shipped. Great stuff from R2 Hobbies. I'm impressed that a company like that provides the backup and support that you really, really want when you're spending money online. Good work. You know, so hey, two good news stories this week from suppliers I'm really happy with. Now the ones I'm not so happy with, um, not so much suppliers, but manufacturers. Now, I mentioned that I was working, uh, doing a review on the Walkera QRX 350, the little quad rotor there that sort of seems to be positioned as a competitor to the DJI NASA or DJI Phantom. And sure enough, I've done half the video, got it out of the box, put it together, set it up, you know, ooh, it all looks honky dory. And I went 4.05 kilometers away from the airfield, had a quick fly. And it's, it flies, but I wasn't that impressed to be totally honest. I was expecting much more after my experiences with the little wool carer ladybird, because that flies so damn well for what it is. I was expecting the QRX 50, 350 to be, you know, a fairly competent machine, but it's got some problems. And so I went online, had a look, and um, there's a few discussion threads on various forums. And one of them relates to the fact that the, the, the QRX 350, although it has accelerometers, it has no auto leveling, which if you're trying to do photography or FPV, auto leveling is really, really useful. And it hasn't got any, which makes it really, really difficult to, you know, or more difficult to fly. So especially for novices that, you know, they, get, they just want to sit there and hover, it doesn't do that. It'll wander off and away you go. Uh, so I kept an eye on this and Walkera also had a problem because the low voltage cutout on the battery set way too high. People were reporting that the, vo the battery was, um, the low voltage cutout was kicking in and when it kicks in the model doesn't return to home and land or just gently come from the sky it falls out of the damn sky some of you were breaking them they're flying along low voltage kicks in falls out of the sky and breaks i mean what's the point so when they checked their batteries they had 2200 milliampere hour batteries they were only able to put 800 milliamps back in so the low voltage cutout was set way too high um a walkera said they were going to address this in a firmware fix so they put out a version 1.1 which had apparently lowered the level of the low voltage cutout. But people are still only getting three or four minutes out of these things. It's not enough, it's ridiculously short. Um, so there was a problem. Also, they weren't self-leveling. Then a chappy on RC Groups, I'll tell you about him in the review video, he got on Walkera's back and said, oh, you've got to fix this. And he criticized the 350 in RC Groups, so they booted him out of RC Groups. Good for you, mate. You're, no, you're nobody if you haven't been kicked out of RC Groups. You know, that's a badge of honor. It's one of the reasons I started the RC Model Reviews channel, because you can't criticize anything on RC Groups because they don't like it. Because who's going to sponsor or advertise on a forum where someone criticizes your product? So if you criticize people, you're labeled as a troll and kicked out on RC Groups. So yeah, good on you, mate, for doing it. So anyway, he got will care to come up with a new version of software 1.2 which does the auto leveling but it didn't have the battery voltage thing in it so oh. anyway so then they bought out a version 1.3 which was supposed to fix the auto leveling and the battery voltage and then they pulled that off the website so here I am I've got the 350 I'm trying to get a version of software in there that's stable and does the work and things keep changing every week or every day almost um, there's a new software and it disappears it comes back 
uh, all I wanted was a quad rotor that was, you know, could be used for FPV. It's, at the moment, it's a mess. It's a damn mess. And there's people, look on YouTube, you'll find videos of QRX 350s crashing all over the place. Sometimes because of the low voltage cutout, sometimes just because they, they fall from the sky. The soldering in them can be really bad, wires come off. So I'm going to do a real in depth on the 350. I think you'll like that review because we're going to look at it quite um, critically to see what's wrong with it. If, and Will Kera hopefully will eventually come to the party and you know, come up with some software that's going to work and deal with their quality control issues. But in the meantime, mine's sitting over there. I'm a little scared to fly the damn thing in case I break it before I finish the review. Um, let's see what Will Kera have to say. Uh, there we go. So that's it for another not so weekly week. Oh, except for, except for, as you've noticed, bench videos. I've been doing a lot of bench videos because I can't do anything else. Um, I've been painting the workshop a bit. I've just got paint on my hands. But um, a bench video is all I can do because I can't fly. And it's really peeing me off because we've had some glorious weather outside. It's been beautiful weather. Perfect for reviewing, flight testing these models and finishing parts twos of reviews. But I can't. It's really a pain in the backside. Some people need their asses kicked, but never mind. Um, so I'm doing bench videos, you know, how to's and the theory of's and what's inside and things like that. But I, you can only do so many of those before people go, oh, where's the planes? So if you've got stuff you really want me to do, um, say so in the comments. Go in the comments and say, I'd like you to do a bench video on this, that, or the other, and I'll try and accommodate you, because I want to make sure that if I'm going to do a lot of bench videos, they are on topics that people want to know about. No good me doing bench videos that people aren't interested in, because they'll just yawn and switch to another channel. So tell me what you want, and I'll do my best to accommodate you. While I, you know, dream of the days when I was able to fly. <laughs> so that's it. Another not-so-weekly weekly news from RC Model Reviews. Thumbs up if you found it interesting, and if you'd like other people to find it. And, uh, as I say, um, stay tuned. More coming. Bye for now.